So I bought Outer Wilds in order to play it and record it, and I did, except originally my sound was muted, so uh, here's a quick rundown of everything I did. I went and talked to all the all the people on this planet called Timber Earth, and then I went to this broken, brittle hollow to find information about these aliens and uh, explored a little bit. There's a black hole and everything, and uh, that's about what I did. So it, luckily I didn't miss too much, but um, that did suck a little bit. Hello, Internet people of the Internet. It's me, Mamma05, and uh, today I'm here with Outer Wilds for the second time because my audio didn't record right the last time and if it doesn't record right this time I am going to cry again okay wir müssen wach wake up something just exploded above us I'm just gonna go through all this stuff at the beginning real quick so I'll see you guys once I'm uh, beginning to preparing the launch I guess we whoa 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 Okay. I am really bad at flying this thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. So close. Yet so far. Oh boy. I was so much better at this the other day when I first recorded this game. I'm gonna land this, dang it. Close enough. Hello, astronaut. Well, if it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we? Please? We even let you be it! Yes, sure, let's play! Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Galena and not me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins! Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Okay. I have dich gefunden! Aw, oh, you found me? My hiding spot was super good! Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Hello, I have dich gefunden! I won? I'm happy! Thanks for playing with us! Yay! Hi, astronaut! You know what? You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gosson said it, would, it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome! Ghost matter is super cool, it'll burn the heck out of you! Yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire! Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Give me the launch codes! Auf geht's! Oder los geht's! Auf geht's und los geht's! Beide! Beide auf geht's und los geht's! Und der Kopf ist. Uh. Yep, it's sucking all of my memories, I guess. And now I am stuck in a time loop because I obviously know things in the future because I've been in a time loop before. Okay, launch codes. Up, 
Aktiviert der Lifte. Okay. Ready? Auf geht's, auf geht's, los geht's, auf geht's. We gotta go up. Up, up and away. Let's see, I wanna go. Whoa. It's not slamming to the planet. Oh, I'm so glad those trees did not have any kind of collision. Because that would have sucked. Uh oh, there's a crashed ship. Well, this time I'm going to remember the suit up because last time I forgot to put on my suit pretty much every single time I left. And, uh, yep, that was actually the first thing that killed me. Whoa. Is there anyone in there? Anyone I can save? I don't think I can rescue them. Hallo! Wie geht's? Esker? Oh, hey, it's you! Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching! Long time no see! Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? The Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Shirt comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Rebic fe feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go! I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Uh, I'll take, talk to you later. I'm going now. Wow. He doesn't make a great weapon. Ow! Esker's signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Rebix Banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're f they'll I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listen to Shirt play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Oh boy, that's awesome. Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sound like Rebook's doing Ocal. Ocal, yes. That oaf. I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. No, it's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Earth. It's day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Earth sounded exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I'd better talk to Nice. <gasps> Okay, I gotta find, um, who, what's his name? the heck is that sound? Yep. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go over there. I'm just gonna go over there. So you mean to tell me you heard Feldspar's harmonica and you told nobody? You just wrote it in a book and was like, oh, okay, that's weird. I guess, I uh, guess, uh, maybe Feldspar isn't lost after all. Maybe he's not dead. Let me just say, I'm not impressed with you. Okay, I'm gonna try landing near this. And see if I can pick up Feldspar with my signal scope from here. See where it is. I guess I don't need my spacesuit. I'm on Earth. Okay. I got one signal here. It's 400 meters away. So is it is it down here? How how come nobody on Timber Earth has thought to come and look investigate over here? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, these people are idiots. I don't even know how we have a space program. 
Hello, Feldspar. You in here? This looks like the uh, uh, Naomi. Naomi? 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 I'm gonna say Naomi. Naomi? No, I'm gonna say Naomi. 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 Yeah. It looks like their architecture. Ow. Okay, I think I did land on the wrong side of the world. So, I gotta get back over that way. Feldspar, don't worry! Worry not, for I am coming! Worry not, because I coming am! Los geht's, los geht's, los geht's! Schneller, schneller, schneller! Los, los, los! He's in here! Feldspar! Whoa, that was disorienting. Feldspar! Telkit? Tel tel the heck is this? What did you do with Feldspar? Hey, oh hatchling! Thought you were taking that t tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back. So I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. What crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. Looks out like some kind of plant seed, but it's not anything I've seen on Timber Earth before. And trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? It looks... it kind of looks like something that might have come off of a dark bramble. Whatever it is, it put its roots down in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Howl loose on it. Better get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. And no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. I don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for anyone to fit inside, and anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Um, well, guess what I have? Uh, it is... If I can remember... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can look in there with a... So... Where's... Where's Feldspar, then? That's not him. He's inside the seed! Feldspar is inside the seed! Um... Okay, well, please hurry and get Feldspar out of there, because I would like to meet this Feldspar guy. And, um, glad we found him. <laughs> oh, boy. Also, why aren't you going to get the help like you said you would, you dingus? Biggest dingus. I am indeed biggest dingus. The interloper. What the heck is this? I'm going to investigate this. Oh, okay, so don't land on it. That's what I just learned. Ich bin wieder wach. Los geht's! Oh, hold up. You're gonna want the to get the launch codes from the observatory first. I already got them from the observatory, remember? Huh, <laughs> must be inhaling more fumes than I realized. That stuff is potent. <laughs> well, if you got the codes, I'm not gonna stop you. Good luck, and take care of that ship. Los geht's auf geht's, los geht's auf geht's, oh, los, 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 auf, 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 auf. Okay, so what I really want to do uh, is not fall onto, not that, I want to find Brittle Hollow, that's what it is. Uh, slow down a lot. Jeez. Okay. Let's see if I can pilot this 
in through here. Let's find Rebic. Uh, and not go in through the black hole. Thank you very much. Oh gosh, I'm ridiculously close to that thing. Okay, I think that works. Get a nice spacesuit on. Open the hatch. Hello, Rebic. Oh, you launched! That's great! Great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody than I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. If engaging the stability of the ground around me and using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just gonna stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be, yeah. Where should I explore? Oh, wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate, because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it, if it's not too much trouble. <laughs> I can see myself in it. Alright. Oh, I missed. Okay, go down. Into the black hole. Please, no, it's in orbit around the black hole. Um, that is very concern. Excuse me? That is extremely concern. So it looks like there's a white hole. And I can see planets. I can see planets on the other side. I'm gonna go in there. Oh my goodness, what the heck? What is that? I guess a white hole, actually. Wow, that's so cool! And that's the piece of ground that just collapsed into it. <gasps> Can I, like, land on this? I guess, yeah, technically. Uh, or not really. Yeah, see, there's Brittle Hollow. I could literally just go back through again. 
Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Brittle Hollow is, um... Is that really Brittle Hollow? No, that's not Brittle Hollow. Who the heck is that? Okay, so my recording just ran out of memory. Hopefully, I've cleared up enough that I can finish up this recording session. Um, but luckily, OBS decided to make a noise and say, Hey, something's wrong. Oh, there I am! Why, hello there. We. This is so much fun! See, so yeah, let's see if my boots are clean. Oh, you know, gotta make sure your boots are clean before you go back into the cabin, back into the thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna take you. Wait, can I walk on that? That's like the the glowy stuff where you can walk. <gasps> I can walk on this. Oh boy, that is weird. That is very weird. Whoa! Okay, wow. Alright, um... Phew. Return the suit. Let's go back into the black hole. Where is... Um... Actually, let's try going in through the white hole. Oh. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> well, look, apparently that's not a thing. Maybe I can tell Rebic that um, the black hole is not dangerous. Okay, I guess that's good. I gotta put my suit on ASAP. And then I guess go out. I can repair it just by holding E. Okay, and does anything else need repairing? I guess I can just go back in. Wow, Brittle Hollow is way more brittle and way more hollow than it was. Rebic! Hi! What's up? I learned something. Oh. I literally can't say anything about having gone into a black hole. Well, that's... dumb. Okay, I gotta go to the observatory before it gets eaten by a black hole. And then I can make my dramatic escape through the black hole. Unless I get stuck, of course. What's this? Is this the Southern Observatory? Hello, is this the Southern Observatory? I'm here! I did it! I put the ship down safely. Um, in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. <laughs> One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. <laughs> That's the good news. The bad news, I haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I do know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try and find a way down. Oh. Can I, like, go inside Rebik's ship? That is... beautiful. Okay, I don't think I can go into Rebik's ship. Whoa, boy. <gasps> Did that just hit my ship? I think it hit very close to my ship. Wow, that was very close to my ship, actually. Oh! 
kind of want to jump. I'm going to jump. <laughs> I regret this, I regret this, I regret this. the heck is that? The sun exploded? Excuse me, what? Um... Hi! The sun literally just went supernova. So maybe the sun going supernova is like what happens if you go into the black hole without the necessary gear. And now I gotta test this theory. There, I bet I could go in through there. <laughs> okay, Gideto. Let's just go to the upside down city. Entrance Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The Southern Observatory. The, so, this is the Southern Observatory? Or is that where it goes? South 550 meters. Oh, wait. down there. I don't know. How do I get in? Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Um, what stairs? The crossroads. I think that goes to um, Rebic. I'm gonna test my theory about the um, sun exploding, though. Okay, I don't think it was triggered by me going in the black hole. Oh boy, I don't think I have enough fuel or time to slow down. Dang it! Third the needle. Uh. Whoa! <laughs> Bet nobody's ever done that before. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Outer Wilds. If you liked, please leave a like on the video and subscribe. And stuff and things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.